Voters across the nation are busy casting their ballots for the over 3,900 city mayor district and provincial governor, counselor, and education chief posts up for grabs. Let's go over to one of the polling stations. Our Song Ji Sun joins us live from Seoul's central Chungnogu district. Chisana, less than two hours remain before the polls close. Are we seeing many latecomers rushing to the polling booths? Good afternoon, Kanyang. I've been seeing younger generations visiting the polling station in the afternoon, whereas the older generations dropped by early in the morning. Now, Seoul's turnout rate has been lagging behind other cities and provinces early in the morning. But the rate now stands higher than the nationwide average at 49.4 percent, whereas the nationwide average stands at 49 percent. Those figures are also higher than four years ago when the 2010 local elections were held. Now, it's been hard to predict the results, how the races will Will turn out this time around with the adoption of the early voting period and factoring in the impacts of the Soda Ferry disaster. Now let's take a listen from the voters what they had in mind when selecting the leaders of their regions. I voted for candidates who can do the job and improve the livelihoods of the people in terms of new jobs and the quality of living. Unlike my friends who are my age, I wasn't affected that much by the Soda Ferry disaster. My priority in this election was more on security than welfare, and I see more room for growth and development. Now, one thing here is for sure. The turnout rate of the different age groups is a major factor in these local elections. Four out of five Koreans are eligible to vote this Wednesday, numbering some 41 million people in total. And those in 50s or older account for more than 40 percent of the total number of voters nationwide. But the case is different here in Seoul. The ratio of those in their 20s and 30s are the highest in the nation at 39.7 percent, outnumbering those in their 50s and older at 39.6 percent. Now these younger generations are usually considered progressive, while the elderly are more conservative. So voting numbers between these two groups will be one of the deciding factors in whether incumbent Mayor Park won soon of the opposition party remains in office, where the ruling Henry Party's multi-term law lawmaker Chung Mung-jun beats the odds. This has been Song Ji-sun reporting live from Chungnogu District in Seoul.